Once you're done, now I'm heading to another house. I actually told the guy that I got my drone with me and he's kind of excited about that. Really windy outside, so I don't know if it's a good idea to fly it. Uh, it I, I wanna fly it, but uh, whew, it's, it's pretty dang windy. So we'll see what happens. If I do, I'm gonna have some really cool video to show you guys. If I don't, then maybe next time I, uh, I do a house for him, then I'll be able to use the drone. is done I've shot it it's good to go I was able to take the drone out which was okay but it was very very windy I almost pushed it into a tree I was lucky for that one uh, it did kick up a little dirt when it landed because it kind of landed uneven again because of the wind and so uh, I had to had to uh, try to catch it out of the air before it hit it did hitting up hitting the ground and it kicked up a little dirt onto it so it's kind of dirty right now uh, but it was uh, it was all right I, I it, it flew a lot better than I thought it would so, uh, now to edit some photos. All right, so here's one of my favorite shots from the day. And this is a kitchen photo in the last house. And I'm just gonna show you how I would edit this photo real quick. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones just because it's straight on. You can still see a little bit of the dining room, uh, but you really get a sense of the floors. You get a nice sh shot of the whole island here with the sink. Uh, you even get the uh, backsplash here. Uh, everything is just really kind of cool. But the obviously, this is way off uh, as far as the exposure. Uh, you know, the, the highlights are here. Didn't really have a flash, so I was I wasn't really compensating for the outside. Uh, but you know, the white balance is off. The angle is off is pretty bad. So uh, I'm going to go quickly how I would edit this photo. So I'm going to go to my transform here, do an auto transform. That's going to straighten everything up. You can see it work pretty well. Uh, and then now I'm going to go do my camera profiles, remove chromatic aberration, uh, make sure everything is good that way. Now I'm going to go back to my uh, basics here and I'm going to take my highlights down and let some of that come through. Uh, I might change that in just a second just because you know there's really not much to see there so that's normally why I blow out some of my windows is because depending on what's behind those windows if it's something bad uh, or not appealing then I don't really want to show it or I want to lessen how much that's shown. Uh, so I'm going to take the shadows bump those up a little bit there uh, and then I'm gonna take my vibrance, bump that up a little bit, and you can see it's starting to bring out all that yellow. Uh, and the yellow is good sometimes, but right now I don't really like this. I want this kitchen to appear really clean uh, and really, uh, really light and airy. And so I can mess with the uh, temperature to try to bring that down a little bit. But you can see, still see, there's a lot of yellow here. So I'm just gonna go to the HSL panel and take my yellow down, and you can see it starts to remove all of that right there and make it look like a really nice clean kitchen uh, and not as uh, not as very yucky uh, yucky yellow uh, there is a little hint of blue which is in the color of the walls but I kind of want to lessen that a little bit so I'm gonna try the aqua take that down a little bit doesn't really do much so let's do the blue 
and you can see it kind of starts to take away the blue. I don't want to take it all the way just like this because uh, that's not how the colors were in the room. So I'm just going to take it up a little bit in between uh, 0 and negative 100 right there, right around 50. So I'm going to do that. Uh, let's add a little bit of contrast in there as well just to pump that up a little bit. Shadows up a little bit more. Uh, and then I'm doing this very quickly, but you can kind of get a gist of how this would normally go. Um, let's take my sharpness up a little bit. Normally I have a preset that is installed that I go ahead and just apply all of the stuff to the same uh, same photos, all of, all of them all at once. Uh, but I'm kind of doing this by eye here. And uh, I'm going to try to fix this area. You can see when I zoom in, uh, it's kind of gross. <laughs> uh, and I'm not going to do it in Photoshop. I'm going to try it with a brush. So I'm going to get a brush here. And I'm going to reset all my values. I'm going to take my exposure down a little bit. And I'm just going to go in there and try to paint darkness away here. There we go. Try that. Right there. Something I didn't see while I was there, but uh, but now I can try to correct it in post. Just black it out a little bit. There we go. Click done. Uh, let's see. What else can we do here? I think I'm going to bump my clarity up a little bit. Um, and I'm still losing a, not a lot here. I, I want to I wanna be able to see a little bit more of this. So I'm going to do a gradial filter. I'm going to bring that up from the bottom. Uh, let's reset that. So let's bump the exposure up in this area and also do a little bit of clarity there. So there we go. That is my edit for this kitchen, one of my favorite shots from the day. So let's look at the before and after here. Uh, looks a lot better. This You can see yellow uh, kind of off. Uh, this one looks really clean and really, uh, really modern looking, which is what they want. Just when you think you're going to have a day of photography editing, photos, fun, got to run to the store to get dinner. Alright, got all the photos edited, they are exported, they are sent to the realtors and everything is ready to go, invoices are sent, all the stuff is done. Uh, so as you can see I edited a kitchen photo which probably was one of my favorite shots of the day and that was in the uh, more expensive house. Obviously the smaller house wasn't a whole lot going on there so I didn't really concentrate on those too much. Uh, I did do a lot of editing to them still but I mainly concentrated all my work on the uh, the kitchen photos of the other house and uh, it was just a really great house. So what was different about this vlog opposed to the first one was this one I tried to actually show you a, a little piece of editing. I didn't want to go too in-depth with it, but I hope you guys enjoyed that part. I, wa I was really thrilled about being able to use the drone. Love that. And so, uh, so hopefully this had a little bit more meat to it. But uh, thank you guys for joining me in this one. I'll see you later.